Well, this is a great fight. Artem Aterbiev versus Alexander Vodsek, a light heavyweight unification between the IBF champion and a WBC champion. Now, it's interesting that Sergei Kovalev has been trying to fight Canelo Alvarez because I know Alvarez is coming up two weight divisions and what have you, but his skill level is extremely high. And it wouldn't shock me to see Canelo Alvarez beat Sergey Kovalev. This is assuming Kovalev can get past Anthony Yard. He might not be able to get past that fight. We'll see. But if he does, you know, it would not shock me to see Canelo Alvarez beat Kovalev because he has such a very, very high skill level and he's absolutely in his prime. And unlike Kovalev, Canelo is definitely somebody who lives the life. But I say all that to say this. Kovalev is eyeing Canelo, but he's not eyeing Baturbiev or Vodsek or the winner. That's interesting, isn't it? So to me, perhaps Kovalev doesn't feel like there's that many fights left in him, or maybe he's just that confident. You know, maybe I'm underestimating Kovalev's confidence. Maybe he believes that he can deal with Canelo with ease and then, you know, go in with the winner of Baturbiev against Vodsek. But from a, a boxing fan point of view, I am a little concerned. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little concerned about Kovalev's next couple fights, whether he can get through them, because I want to see Kovalev in against the winner of Baturbiev against Vodsek. <laughs> that, that's something I'd really love to see, but we might not get to see it. Anyway, as far as Baturbiev and Vod Vodsek goes, who have you guys got winning? I've seen some people say, Vodsek should win the fight. Look what he did to Stevenson. Uh, that's a better name than anybody Baturbiev's got on his resume as a pro. I agree with that. Uh, other people have been saying Baturbiev has looked vulnerable. He was dropped uh, by Callum Johnson. I agree. He looked vulnerable in that fight, 100%. But Vodsek has also looked vulnerable. I mean, did you see Vodsek when he fought uh, Tommy Carpensi? Carpensi had him on the floor in the first round. And I can assure you Carpensi doesn't hit anywhere near as hard as Artur Baturbiev and nor is he remotely as skilled. So even though Baturbiev has shown some fragility, I think people might be uh, going overboard a little bit. I'm sure that Artur Baturbiev has got the power to hurt and knock out Alexander Vodsek. That's something I'm very, very sure about. So it's going to be an intriguing matchup. Vodsek is a lot more fleet footed. I think he's got much faster hands. He moves very well. I believe he's the taller man by a good couple of inches. And yeah, he's coming off a good win over Stevenson. Stevenson has made a miraculous and uh, thankfully very good recovery after suffering a brain injury in that fight. And Vodsek has been out, been out the ring for quite a long time, hasn't he? Has he had a fight since the Stevenson fight? Because if he has, I certainly haven't seen it or heard about it. And Baturbiev has been out for, you know, a little bit as well. So I, th I think Baturbiev fought more recently, didn't he? Or am, am I getting my wires crossed here? Maybe I am. Let me know what you guys think of the fight. Um, interesting stylistic matchup. Both guys can punch. I think Baturbiev hits harder. But Vodsek, the better mover, the faster of the two. Going to be fascinating. Baturbiev can box, by the way. You know, he's not just a big puncher. He can, you know, get on his jab. These Soviet guys tend to all be very, very well schooled. You very rarely find uh, an ex-Soviet. And when I say ex-Soviet, they come from Eastern Bloc, you know, Eastern Europe and what have you. Uh, used to be the Soviet Union. And normally these guys, you, you don't find crude sluggers very often. Occasionally you get the Provodnikovs or whatever, but generally speaking, these guys are well-schooled. Even somebody like Gennady Golovkin, who really, you know, made his name as like a, a slugger, a pressure fighter, the whole Mexican style thing. When Golovkin wanted to, he could revert back to the very good polished amateur skills, uh, which, you know, he displayed in fights like, uh, the David Lemieux fight, you know, he was sticking a jab in that fight. You know, he was winning it technically from long range. 
uh, before he decided to lower the boom and take Lemieux out. Also in the Canelo rematch, you know, he decided to get on his jab and get on his back foot a little bit. So even a guy like Golovkin, who is you know, seen as a pressure fighter and a slugger, he has that old school uh, Eastern European polished boxing ability. And both of these guys have that too, including Viterbiev. So yeah, going to be fascinating. Look forward to it October 18th. It will be on a Friday. I don't mind Friday fights, you know. I, I quite like them. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section below, people. Who you picking? It's happening. I'm out.